Hi guys! So the other day I purchased this gouache set on Amazon without the brushes for about $20 and I wanted to use them with you guys so you could see how they perform. I'd been wanting to try gouache for such a long time now and of course this set was magically recommended to me on Amazon one day because that's just how the internet works now. I figured since this was my first time really trying out gouache, a full set for $20 couldn't hurt and plus this set had about a 4 out of 5 star review and Amazon has a pretty good return policy anyways so I figured if they just really sucked I could send them back. Back. As for what I'm painting today, I actually wanted to practice a little bit of blending just to get a feel for these paints, and then I am actually going to paint these flamingos. I've been obsessed with the Wes Anderson type color palettes recently, and this is actually a screenshot from a small clip on the subreddit called Accidental Wes Anderson. It's a subreddit I actually highly recommend if you enjoy art, photography, symmetry, or really anything Wes Anderson. Um, I don't know where this clip is originally from, so I'm sorry for that, but if you do happen to know, please leave me a comment below so I can properly give credit in the description box. Now just keep in mind that I've actually never used gouache paints before and this is only my second time painting with this set, but I am really impressed with the bold color and easy workability I get with these paints. As for blending, I don't think it turned out too well, but I believe I'm actually the one at fault here because I don't typically blend when I use acrylic paints, so my technique isn't that great. Hopefully though with a little bit of practice I'll eventually get there. So I went ahead and peeled off the washi tape while it's still wet, <laughs> don't come for me. I only did this because the other day when I tried this out I waited for the paint to dry and I got tons of little paint dust flecks everywhere and the lines just didn't come out that clean. I didn't want to risk that happening here so I just went ahead and pulled it off. I realized after doing the blue block that I actually wanted my blocks to be a bit closer together, which is why you might notice that the washi tape is now higher than it previously was, and in hindsight I really wish I actually did yellow instead of purple for this middle block, or at least like a pastel purple. Um, it's a beautiful color and everything, but I was trying to actually keep these blocks in a similar color story as the flamingo painting I'm going to do. I also had the most trouble blending the purple and white without making it look too unnatural, but again I think that problem is more contributed to my lack of blending skills.
my camera cut off here before I could peel off the rest of the washi tape, but don't worry, there's more washi tape peeling satisfaction to come. For the flamingo painting, I started with blocking off the colors in the photo. I wasn't going for 100% realism here, but instead more of a pop pastel art type of vibe. That was the worst explanation, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> going into this, I lowered my expectations tremendously because I was worried that it wasn't going to be that great, but I was okay with that considering this was only my second time working with this medium. However, it actually turned out to be a really cute piece that I'm super happy about. Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the painting process for a bit and then I will come back and give you guys my review towards the end.
Overall, as a new gouache paint user, I found these paints extremely easy to work with. Sure, it can get a little bit messy and you'll probably wake up the next morning to find paint in random areas that make no sense, but I think that's to be expected in the painting process anyways. I love the variety of colors you get in the pack, along with the fact that you get two whites since white is probably going to be your most used color. I also do love the fact that gouache can be easily reactivated with a little bit of water, so if it dries on my palette or in the container, it's really nothing to worry about. My only complaint is that the mixing palette that they provide to you is so close to the tops of the paints that when you take the mixing palette off, it can have bits of paint all over it already. Um, I wouldn't really deem this as a travel friendly product either, as I could see the paint really getting messy if you tipped it over while the paints were still wet. However, I do love that it comes with a mixing palette and a double locking lid. I find that the paint performs well enough for me, and even in my moleskin, it doesn't seem to bleed through or cause too much page warping, even if I do accidentally use a little bit too much water in some areas. I'm really happy with this purchase, and especially for the price, it's quite impressive, easy to set up, and fun to use. I should also mention that this is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form, nor was this sent to me. I purchased this on my own and just wanted to make this video to give a review in case you were thinking of maybe purchasing one of your own. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.